Welcome to another edition of Book Talks from Mrs. Lepore. So this time I have a really awesome realistic fiction that when I read it, I thought it was really relatable. There's many characters in this book and there's always someone that you can find something to relate to. So this book is called The List and it's by Siobhan Vivian. This story takes place in a high school and every year right before homecoming, a list comes out and it's posted everywhere around the school. It's thrown on lockers and put in the bathrooms for everyone to see. And on this list, it gives you the prettiest and ugliest girl from each grade level. How horrible is that, right? Imagine if you were on this list, what you would think. So right in the beginning of the story, it gives you the list and each of the girls that are on it with a description of why they're on the list. So I'm gonna read that to you first. So here it is, the list. So first off, we have the freshmen, the ninth graders. Ugliest, Danielle DeMarco, also known as Dan the Man, ouch. Prettiest, Abby Warner, bonus points awarded for overcoming family genetics. So that means someone in their families must not be as pretty and that's gonna cause some heartache. Sophomores, ugliest, Candace Kincaid. Beauty isn't just skin deep, by the way. Prettiest is Lauren Finn. Everyone's hot for the new girl. Juniors, ugliest is Sarah Singer. It's like she's trying to be as ugly as possible. Prettiest is Bridget Honeycutt. What a difference a summer can make. Then the seniors, we have the ugliest is Jennifer Brigus. Drum roll, please. The only four Pete in Mount Washington history. Congrats, Jennifer. That means this poor girl, every single year of her high school career, she's been on the ugliest list. Prettiest is Margot Gable. All hail this year's homecoming queen. So this story takes you through each of these girls' experiences and reactions to this list. It's going to alternate between all of these girls and let you in on how others react to the list around them and how are they going to deal with this this experience. Um, they also try to dig into who is making this list and why it comes out year after year. Maybe they'll find the culprit. Maybe they'll get this to stop, but you have to read it to find out. Um, in this story, it really focuses in on how we feel about ourselves, our self-esteem, and how we feel about how our peers judge us in different ways. So go ahead and tell me, would you want to read the list?